What's up you guys, my name is Jeffrey Robert and welcome to my channel. I am a hairstylist, if you guys don't know who I am, I love to color hair and I'm here with my friend Cindy. Hi guys! Uh, I've done her hair a few times, if you guys want to check my Instagram or I'll just pop some photos around the video. I've done her hair a few times, so today she wants to have a lot of fun. What do you want to do? Um, I think I want to do like a, a blue mint. Okay. Something with blue, something with mint. Silver, so, silver, blue, mint. I don't know. I'll let you decide. Cool. I trust you. <laughs> Thanks. For sure. We're going to do her roots. It's been about seven weeks. Her roots look really good, actually. It's not going to be too difficult to try to get her roots to match the rest of this blonde here. After we get those roots done, we're going to go ahead and color it and see what we can do with it. So stay tuned and thanks for watching. Okay, so today what I want to use is Oligo Extra Blonde Lightener. If you guys watch my channel, you can see that the past few videos I've been using this liner and I've actually been using it for a while. So I'm going to mix this with a ratio of one and one and a half. I'm going to be using 40 grams of powder and I'm going to be using 20 volume developer here. And this is going to be 60 grams. I'm jumping right in. I'm dividing the hair into four quadrants with the lightener and outlining it first. Now I'm using the lightener and I'm starting at the top of the head and working my way down to the nape of the hair and then I'm going to go ahead and continue on to the sides after that. I am taking really fine sections here and this is going to really allow me to fully saturate all of the product onto the regrowth. This Oligo lightener does not swell so where I place it is where it should stay for the most part. So I'm at the nape of the head here and I'm still taking very fine sections. I just want to make sure that I'm applying as much product as possible to the top and to the bottom of the sides here. Alright, so let's see how it's looking. Okay, not bad. It's definitely like a level high 8, like some of it's a 9. So you're almost ready to wash out. So today I want to tone Cindy's hair kind of silver on top. So what I want to use are these two colors from Schwarzkopf. And it's 9.5-22 and 9.5-29. I'm going to use 7 volume developer and my ratio is 1 to 1. So inside of my toners, I always mix Brazilian Bond Builder. Since I mixed a lot of toner, I'm going to go ahead and fill this to the second line here. Go ahead and apply that already to my color, which I mixed. And this is going to help add a lot of shine into the color and also add some bonds back into the hair after it's been lifted so much. It'll make the hair feel a lot stronger too. As you can see, Cindy's hair grew so much from what it used to be and we've been lightening it. So I like to think it's from the good, good products I use and because she takes care of it at home. So I'm going to go ahead and start off applying this toner to Cindy's hair now. I'm going to use this toner all over the entire head because I want an even silver tone and her hair seems like an even level 9. So we're going to go ahead and use that as a first step. So I'm going to start off with outlining and just making sure everything's on all four quadrants of my sections. So I'm going to start off and just apply this color from the root first and then I'll make my way throughout the rest of the hair after. That way I can make sure that I get enough coverage. I feel like every time I apply a toner it's good for me to subsection because it just helps me with making sure I saturate everything completely. So I'm just taking my sections from the bottom here and working my way up and go ahead and apply this toner through the rest of the hair after. I'm applying the rest of the color here to Cindy's hair. I've already put it on the top half and I'm using the same formula and applying it to the bottom half. I'm using the Fermar Emperor brush and I really like this brush because it has a comb and I feel like I'm able to fully saturate because I'm able to comb the product into the hair. 
For Cindy's ends, I want to do a little bit of like a dip dye effect. So I'm going to use this color, Sky from Joico. I like this color because it's a direct dye and it makes it really easy to not have to formulate. So I am balayaging this creative color onto the tips now. As you can see, it looks really pretty. I can't wait to show you guys the results. When I'm done balayaging this color, I'm going to let it process for about 15 minutes and we'll show you guys how it looks then. Okay, you guys, we finally finished Cindy's hair. It took like five hours, six hours? No, six, <laughs> no, eight hours. For hair nowadays. It was worth it. It was worth it. It was worth it. Mm -hmm. So, what do you think about it? I love it. It's like, I feel like a mermaid. <laughs> a mermaid. If you guys learned something from this video, which I hope you guys did, or if you had a good time watching, definitely please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys later. Bye. Bye.